One of the largest indoor event centers in Colorado is the latest to require proof of vaccination or a negative test to get in. Alan Janae at Ball Arena tonight. Alan, big news for Nuggets fans and concert goers alike. Well, good news, too, in a way, because things seem to go well. They told people to show up early because there could be lines, but there weren't. Now, we saw usual problems. A teenager forgetting his vaccination card had to call home. Other people wondering about what kinds of tests are accepted. Remember, you need a time stamp on there so they can ensure it's within 72 hours. But this change seems to be largely accepted with ease, particularly among the vaccinated. Vaccine info. We got five lines. Any line you guys want to get into. Tents were set up and people pulling their vaccine or testing information out. Right here. Then heading through. Lines were short. I just think it's a little bit inconvenient. Other than other than that, I think that it's good for everybody. Yeah, I think it keeps people safe. The contractor, Highline Medical Solutions, was processing people quickly. That's our biggest goal. We don't want to have to be shut down again. Listen, I'll I just hold I did it today. But not all. Uh, they won't let us get in. This father and daughter were stopped because of the COVID test he had his 13-year-old take earlier in the day. There's no way to prove who took that test, really. It just said she had to have a negative COVID test. It didn't say anything specifically about what test it had to be. Fitness. There are bound to be issues as the policy goes into place, including mask use inside. They're pretty laissez-faire in there. Yeah, once you get inside, if you're in your seat, I think they kind of look the other way. CU Law Professor Andrew Schwartz notes that as businesses become the enforcer, courts will likely give them leeway. In trying to enforce the rules, the fact that one or two um, people slipped through or there, there were some mistakes made, uh, that wouldn't necessarily mean that uh, there would be any liability there. And the game went on with a lot of fans glad for the change. I'm going to wear a mask regardless, so <laughs> um, I'm going to be protected for sure. We don't know if the father and daughter got in. Now, you can do an on-site rapid test here to be allowed in, but there is a cost, a cost the father said he was not willing to pay. And one tip, if you get the My Colorado app on your phone, that can help you get in a little bit easier because there you can get access to your vaccine record. In Denver, I'm Alan Janae, covering Colorado First.